Harry accuses royal household of trying to smooth the way for Camilla in fresh attack. Prince Harry has claimed that royal staff at Clarence House blocked anything that might upset the apple cart, as the Duke levels a fresh attack against his stepmother, Queen Camilla. Prince Harry has accused the royal household of trying to smooth the way for his stepmother, Camilla, to become Queen Consort. He claims that there was a secret agreement struck between the palace and Rupert Murdoch's newspaper group over phone hacking which seemingly was used to benefit the soon-to-be-crowned queen. The fresh attack comes after Harry previously suggested that Camilla was dangerous in a televised interview to promote the release of his tell-all book Spare. Harry has claimed that his own interests were sacrificed in order to protect the public image of his stepmother. In the statement, Harry suggests that attempts to force newsgroup newspapers, NGN, to settle the dispute with the royal household dragged on for years. He says that the staff at Clarence House were unhelpful in helping him to progress his claims and were seemingly blocking our every move. Harry claims it was part of a specific long-term strategy to keep the media, including NGN, on side. He added that it was done in order to get Camilla, and his father, to be accepted by the British public, and that anything to damage the reputation was to be avoided at all costs. Harry said that this was all done because of the secret agreement and that there would be no actions until the end of the litigation. This is just one of a series of incendiary claims which Prince Harry submitted to the High Court as part his 31-page. Harry also dragged his elder brother, Prince William, into the privacy breach row. He claimed that William was offered a huge sum to compensate for his phone being hacked. Harry is set to return to the UK next week to attend the King's coronation. His visit will mean he will come face to face with the royals once again, in particular, Camilla, who will be crowned alongside the King on May 6. The Duke is also due to make the trip solo, with Meghan Markle deciding to remain in the US with the couple's two children, Archie and Lilibet. This claim has not been denied by Kensington Palace.